Hello everybody, this is Teacher Nicola from Dada ABC. Today I would like to share a video with you of how I have decorated my new background and hopefully share some ideas with you how you could also spruce up your background, maybe make it more brighter, more colourful, um, anything you'd like. Um, so here we go. So as a mentor, we do mentor new teachers and we give them ideas and tips how to um, make their backgrounds, you know, very vibrant, you know, kind of educational, kid friendly and all those things. So I'm going to share the same, um, the same ideas with you. And that's basically based on what Dada ABC requires and some new updates that we have seen recently. Um, in the Dada ABC Teaching Fun Group page. So first of all, I did have a good background, which I was I was really happy with. It was some pink storage boxes with the Dada ABC characters on there. I had an educational globe on there and a Mr. Potato Head. And I also had the Dada ABC watermark logo um, down in the right, left, left hand corner <laughs> of my screen. And that will still be there when I have my classes. But for now, as I'm doing a recording, it doesn't show. So for an example, as an example, I'm just um, putting the Dada ABC logo there. Um, I've used ManyCam to do that, uh, just to give you an example of where it would be and how it would look like. So you can print your logo. Most teachers who don't use ManyCam, they've printed their logo and even if you do use Medicam, they've still printed the logo and put it there, so it's okay. Okay, so I've spent the whole morning actually creating a new background because I have so many toys and props now that my desk was a disaster and I need those storage boxes like in front of me to use them because they were behind me before. So when I'm having class with a student, it's difficult to keep turning around and trying to find which which drawer to which drawer is the prop in and all those things so um, it's much easier now that I can use them I can put them in front of me or down beside me and I'm going to label each drawer you know maybe face masks um, toy characters and so on so the first thing I did was I bought a map and I got this map, map for about five dollars um, I did order one as well from China and that should be coming later on but for now I'm just going to use this map so I put that on it's nice and bright very colorful um, it was looking a bit plain so I added the Dada ABC characters to the side just to you know make it look more like Dada ABC ish <laughs> and then I added some stars uh, to, cut, to cover up the sellotape basically because uh, the light is shining over that side so it shines over on the sellotape you probably can see it and I don't really like that you probably can see it so I don't really like that so I was trying to cover it up uh, cover up the sellotape I also printed my name so I just found this border in Google and then I just copied it into Word and then wrote Teacher Nicola in big black bold letters so you can see it pretty clearly um, I also found this in Google um, and then I just printed it on an A4 paper and I've just stuck it there and I like to have like neat borders so I've done that and then I got the numbers and I tried to look for numbers that would stand out so not ones that you can't really see so I got the numbers 1 to 10 and then because the Dada ABC logo will be here and it will cover like these flowers um, I just stuck some hearts there so it will border the Dada ABC logo and these flowers will be at the top. Now the reason why I chose flowers is because I'm always coming across flowers in the younger preschool books and I like to ask the student you know what colour is this, what colour is this and I also like to use uh, flowers as a reward system in many camps so if you haven't seen my classes before I usually switch to this page here and I will use that to ask the student what flower would they like as their reward and then if they're young and they don't understand I can now use these flowers to um, ask them if they want this one yes no yes no if a red flower blue flower while using flashcards at the same time to demonstrate colors blue blue flower so um, that's how how I've basically everything I've done is thought, thought through it's not you know just on the wall for no reason so for example my map I've stuck my aeroplane there so that if I do come across anything you know in terms of travel or where are you going I can use this aeroplane now to um, to demonstrate 
and what I plan to do is I'm going to play around with it later I bought these magnets on eBay a long time ago and uh, basically I'm going to stick a couple of the magnets on the back of the airplane I'm also going to put some of the magnets on each country so that when I demonstrate to the student I can move the airplane around and it will stick on each co each country by the magnets so that is a really clever idea that that idea that I've just come up with while making this video so thanks everyone <laughs> okay so um, as you can see there wasn't anything next to teacher Nicola and so what I did was I went through my daughter's old coloring books and I found a book about princesses and kings queens and all those things and this was in the book so I have come across castles before and this is great now for me to point at to show the student this is a castle and look there is a dragon and a prince they can't really see the prince but anyway um, you get the idea it's kid friendly it looks fun it looks colorful a modern colorful I would say so um, that's really nice and actually <laughs> while making this video my rewards my reward eggs have fallen off my magnets okay that's not really good is it so I'll just I'll, I'll talk about them in a second okay so um, what I also oh yes let me just finish so the numbers are there because I have got a lot of new students I've got a three-year-old right now she's just turned three she's actually my students um, sister and I'm teaching her now and she knows nothing so um, I've been teaching her numbers colors and this will really help us now because it's nice and bold and I can just point that out to her and the colors as well so it's really bright and colorful and she will stay focused in the class um, so the next one is this tiny little whiteboard now I'm really excited about that I bought them a long time ago from eBay and uh, it's from China basically and um, they did have these borders around them and they had the lion magnet this this lion thing so I realized it was broken this this thing was coming off the border and I thought wow it's going to be light enough now for me to stick it to the wall using sellotape so I have been basically sticking everything with sellotape over and over and over and over again to make sure it doesn't fall down so I stuck that to the wall with sellotape and then I just used some craft paper uh, some green card to make a border and then this was a bit uneven so I just used a red heart to like cover that up and then so what I have done is I can now use this white board while it's on the wall and that's really good because say if we're learning about the word W the letter W I can show the student letter W and then I can put it on the whiteboard <gasps> I'm so excited about that there's so many games and stuff I can use now with that um, and I recently purchased some eggs well I got them free in a magazine actually um, some eggs like this and I saw um, teacher Lissandra actually talking about eggs and I was like wow that's so amazing because I actually purchased some eggs uh, so basically there are there are three eggs and they came with a little chick so what I was planning to do is uh, put them on these magnet boards boards like this and they open so I'll put the chick in one of them well actually I had to sellotape them together to make like a door because they weren't staying together when I put them on so I just had to improvise oh, oh dear okay hold on a second I will make this work I, I need to balance the weight on this other egg so okay there we are so then I will ask which egg do you think the little chick is in and then they can choose if they say the purple egg I'll be like oh, yay the little chick is in the purple egg well done and there's lots of stuff that I can use with this little magnet board um, so I'm planning to also maybe make some little stars and stick magnets on the back so that when they get a star I'll take a magnet star and stick it on there um, lots and lots of stuff maybe build a butterfly so I'll make the back of the butterfly and then they can choose uh, which shapes they want to go on the wings I can use magnets to do that and at the end you have a beautiful butterfly that you've created all because of cheap little magnets some creativity and a, a broken whiteboard that I turned into a wool whiteboard so 
um, it's just about being creative and putting um, thought into what you're doing so don't just do anything for no reason uh, do something that you know that you're going to use in your class which is going to be beneficial for you and your students and make your life a lot easier so if I showed you the rest of the room right now you'd be like oh, because it's a mess I I have a lot of work to do I just have too many things now so I'm glad that I've got those storage boxes free now so that I can use them um, so what do you think rainbow unicorn oh I think it's lovely Nicola well done oh thank you very much <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it's given you some ideas about what to do oh yeah before I forgot this is the really important one that I was wanting to mention so I right now my desk is next to a window so you can see this place is nice and bright and then the wall is like a triangular shape so this side is not so bright so um, and the room itself is not that bright so I basically put a lamp even though the lights on I put a lamp on my desk not um, at the side of my computer but like where the screen meets the keyboard so uh, uh, like right at that corner now I'll just show you the difference without the lamp on so I'm gonna turn the lamp off now now you can see it's not bad it's not bad at all but it's just a lot it's just brighter with the light on and everything is more colorful so that's what I'm going for I'm going for a colorful um, background I like colorful so I just again you can see the difference it's a big difference and this like side it doesn't just just looks horrible without the lamp so if I turn that on it's just a bit brighter so anyway I hope that helps and I also encourage everybody else to share their background or a picture of their background with this video or in the Facebook comments or something like that because I would love to see especially if you have whiteboard games or um, simple simple activities you know that you could just do in a few seconds I would love to see that because I need some more ideas for this um, little whiteboard anyway thank you so much and um, I will see you again soon on Dada ABC <laughs> bye bye